switching gears from vintage electronics for a few minutes. This is a West clock, little alarm clock, obviously, that belongs to my mother. She says it's running fast, as in extremely fast, and was going to throw it away. And I said, well, let me look at it first. I suspect it has a bad capacitor inside of it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can hear it making an internal buzzing sound, which leads me more to believe that it has a bad capacitor. Let's look at the label on the bottom of it. Made in China. Well, what do you expect? And you can see what the label reads there. Okay, let's open this up and see if it's actually fixable or, or is it something we're going to throw away. Here we are all taken apart and I'm in the process of removing this blue electrolytic capacitor that I suspect is defective. If it's not, then uh, it'll probably mean the EOL for this clock. But if it's the cap, maybe we'll get lucky and squeeze a few more years out of this. And we have the capacitor connected to our meter, and as you can tell, it's definitely bad. It's supposed to be a 220 microfarad. It's reading only 75 microfarad. So now it's time to look through my junk box and find a capacitor. Well, it looks like this electrolytic capacitor was the problem. I replaced it with a 220 microfarad cap from my junk. And the clock now seems to be keeping good time, and it's not making a internal buzzing sound. So yeah, yeah, another piece of cheap electronics saved from the landfill. Most people would have just thrown something like this away, since it probably cost less than ten bucks whenever it was new. Like my mother was actually going to throw it away, but so let me take a look at it first. So. So now it appears to be working, so maybe we can squeeze a few more years out of it. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching, and more to come later.